Hello everybody, in today's video we are exploring the new PCG 5.4 and I'm going to show you how you can add a button over here and control variables from the PCG from Blueprint class. So right now I just dropped my BP PCG and I've connected this button to control the seed of the PCG graph. If I click it, I'm just adding one to the seed and I'm just randomizing my cubes over here. And of course I can put, let's say 100 and continue on using my functions. So I'm gonna show you how you can connect your blueprint to your PCG and control the variables over there. So let's get started. If you watched my previous video, you already know that my channel is demonetized. So I've decided to switch to Patreon. Becoming a Patreon member, you support me and this channel to keep evolving, to keep creating more and more interesting videos. Besides that, you have access to all the files that I've created from the start of my YouTube channel. So right now you can download the water shader, you can download the auto material from my previous video. If you didn't watch it, go and watch it. And you can have access to more in-depth videos about how the things work, like the auto material, the water shader, and a few more videos. And also you have access to a VIP Discord server only dedicated to my Patreon members, where I am active most of the time. So if you want to support the growth of this channel and if you want to see more and more videos like this, go to my Patreon page, enroll now, and also you will have access to everything that I'm creating. Thanks everyone. The first thing that you need to do is you need to create a blueprint and a PCG graph. So I'm going to create first a blueprint class and I'm going to name it BP PCG one create a new PCG graph, PCG graph one. All right. So the first thing is I'm going to open my PCG graph. And the first thing that I want to sample is I want to sample the landscape. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to search for get let's landscape data. So we are getting the data from the landscape. And after that, I'm going to use a surface sampler. So I'm going to drag from here and search for sampler. And I'm going to use the surface sampler. This sampler will get the landscape data and create volume on it. After that, I want to spawn a static mesh. So right click static mesh spawner. I'm going to connect the output over here and here in the static mesh spawner i'm going to do two things the first is i'm going to enter a mesh so i'm going to hit plus over here and i'm going to choose i'm going to open it and i'm going to choose just this cube all right just for this example if you want to include the material of this cube you need to click over here by attribute materials click plus and type material and this will include the material from the mesh itself hit save and finally i'm going to connect it to my output over here in the pcg graph so far so good but we need to create a variable that will control the seed over here so i'm going to right click get actor property and here in the get actor property the first thing that you need to do is you need to define the actor filter so we are selecting the root and we are giving the property name which will be seed because we want to control the seed and i'm going to give the output attribute name again seed now I'm going to connect it to seed and this variable will connect to the variable in our blueprint class and it will control the seed on this surface sample. I'm going to save this and let's jump in my blueprint. The first thing in the blueprint, we need to add the PCG. So I'm going to add the PCG and adding this PCG, we need to define the instance. So I'm going to select here and I'm going to search for my PCG graph one. I'm going to select it. And now we have load up our PCG. The next thing that we need to have here is a collision box so it can interact with the landscape. If you don't have a collision box, you cannot interact with the landscape. So I'm gonna add a box collision, box collision. I'm gonna do 50, 50, 50, just to have a little bit of size. I'm gonna compile and save. And now what we need to do is we need to create two functions and we need to create one variable. So let's create the variable. The variable will be from type integer and I'm going to name it seed. The name should be the same as the name over here, seed. So I have seed over here and I have seed integer over here so they can cross match. Then I'm going to give it a category of PCG and I'm going to flag it as instance editable. I'm going to compile save. And now let's create our two functions. The first function will be cleanup. I'm going to name the first function clear regen. This will clear the regeneration of the PCG. And what we need to do is we need to drag our PCG over here. 
and from the PCG let me just expand here a little bit more so you can see it better and from the PCG first we're gonna do a clean up clean up and this is under the PCG this is a function that will clean up our PCG and I'm gonna select remove components so we are cleaning up the previous PCG then I'm gonna do a generate a new PCG so I'm gonna generate new PCG I'm gonna connect over here I'm gonna clean up my graph and I'm gonna choose force over here I want to create one more function and this function I'm gonna call it add plus one seed so I'm gonna add one to the seed over here and it's pretty easy I'm gonna drag and drop my seed I'm gonna select the function plus plus this will increment with one the seed uh, variable then I'm gonna set it up so I'm gonna set and I'm gonna set the new number over here and then what I need to do I need to call this function clean regen and our functions are ready compile and save and finally what we need to do is we need to select the function that we want to expose as a button so I'm gonna expose add plus one seed and I'm gonna say call in editor I'm going to compile and save so we have our function exposed and then we need to add the category to pcg so we can have this function and the seed integer under one category i'm going to put the clear regen over here too and what i want to add is i'm going to duplicate this function and i'm going to make it minus one so you can have the other side and here what you need to change is you need to type minus minus and just connect it over here connect it here and connect the seed I'm gonna delete this Q compile and save and this function minus it will again be called in the editor so let's test this out we're gonna drag and drop our BP over here we have those cubes we have the two buttons let's try first the seed 30 40 working like a charm zero let's try add adding minus we are getting minus one adding one minus one so this is how you can create a variable over here that you can control through a blueprint get an actor property name the property itself root and then go to your blueprint and create the variables over here and create your functionality this is how you can interact with pcg and blueprints and this is opening a whole new world to you as through the blueprint you can control your pcg in real time in your game for example if you're creating a battle royale game and you want this map to be different every time the character jumps out of the plane you can just control the seed over here each time you can call it through a blueprint all right and let me show you pretty quickly how you can do a randomization in runtime through a blueprint. So let's say this BPPCG right now is into my scene. And if I move it, it will create a new position for my cubes over here. All right. So let's open the blueprint over here. And from the button itself, we can add plus one to the seed. But if I do a delay over here and on each one second, I'm going to call this function plus one seed and on each one second it will generate a new pcg over here all right so if i hit play you can see over here that we are generating new pcg so for example before your character jump from the plane you can generate the map itself and each time your player starts playing on your map you can have a completely different experience for it so this is how you can control your pcg properties and expose them to blueprint and use the blueprint logic to enrich and make your game even better so this is how i exposed my parameters in my pcg ditch if you want this pcg you can hop in into my patreon and grab it and here if i click the buttons i'm gen just generating a new geometry a new variation of this embarkment here for for example i can control the three seeds i can control the tree density from here less trees more trees and i can control the global scale this is pretty pretty useful to control your pcg through a blueprint in real time thank you guys for watching this video see you in my next one and before i end up this video i want to let you know that i've created a blueprints masterclass for unreal engine 5 it is available right now on udemy 
So if you want to expand your knowledge and not just only create art pieces in Unreal Engine 5, but create some characters, create some game logic, my course is the perfect solution from beginners to intermediate Unreal Engine 5 users. The course itself is 15 hours long and it has all the foundation that you need to kickstart your blueprint knowledge in Unreal Engine 5. So if you want to keep evolving yourself beyond just creating art in Unreal Engine 5, enroll now. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to support me and get access to all my files, also to the auto material that I've created previously, join my Patreon page for $4.99 and with your pledge you're supporting me to keep creating amazing videos like this. Each one of you can make a big difference by supporting my channel so I can keep making those videos. Thank you guys for watching this video, happy game development, I'm out.